Win, 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 the winners. How long you train your horse for this big event here? Um, got a gold chain. We've had at the ranch since he was three years old. We found him in uh, America through Patrice Saint Ange, and um, uh, he was purchased by Jack Point Quarter Horses in his three year old year. I flew over to America to show him in the NRHA fraternity, um, and we were top 10 at, out of um, 496 entries, I believe. Um, also, yeah, I think tying to win the go round or so. He, anyways, he's he, we've had him at uh, at Jack Point since he's three years old. He's he's six this year. Um, yeah, he's been a very consistent uh, consistent horse and uh, just a lot of fun. Easy easy horse to show and to train and to ride. Really beautiful in the show pen. It was an amazing run. What we have had seen yet. You are the lucky winner. Was it uh, tough for you to win against the other ones? You know, uh, uh, it was funny. We were out in the warm-up pen, and um, uh, Arno was mentioning that there's three entries, and uh, each each rider has won a million dollars uh, prize money in their lifetime. Yeah. So he yeah. said uh, that's why nobody else entered because <laughs> nobody else has won the million dollars in Europe. So. <laughs> Uh, so that was funny. So those, I mean, Rudy and uh, Bernard are, are the, the toughest competitors. So um, I think uh, I think they they just did a nice job showing their horses um, after a hard week. And um, I also just tried to stay inside the box m more or less. I, I, it was a nice pattern uh, with the run in and uh, stop and back up and uh, the turns and then after the turns you kind of know you kind of have a feeling uh, whether whether you can just coast on the circles or whether you need to push a little bit um, i felt i felt pretty confident i had uh, i was clean on the turns no penalties so i just uh, more or less rode the circles smoothly and uh, he's a big stopper so i i allowed him to to show off his his skill in the stops at the end of the pattern and that uh, gave me the edge over the other two guys yeah okay that's that's, yeah. that's right uh what, what is the fascination for you about raining um it, yeah i've tried a lot of different uh you know horseback sports mm -hmm. and from uh, all around stuff in the aqha and uh Cutting and uh, cow horse and um, and uh, yeah rodeo everything, but uh, for for the for the reining it's um you know it's just one horse one rider um, there's no other real variables I mean the judges and the ground conditions and uh, you know those are the other variables but uh, more or less you you you're kind of in control of of your you know your results. Um, you know where or the where cow horse and cutting your your there's a lot of different elements that you have to deal with and it gets a little frustrating sometimes for me so I like to be I like to be in charge. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good decision <laughs> to be a rainer. Yeah. Um, we had first time here the big event, the raining maturity in the mm -hmm. with over 200 horses. Uh, what do you think, or what can it, uh, tell us uh, over the uh, complete facility mm -hmm. about the event, the organization? Yeah, um, you know the uh, a couple of things to make a good horse show for for the competitors is um, enough room and enough time to prepare your horse and uh, good good ground. You know, for raining, it's really important, and uh, and the ground here was really good. Um, and you know they they yeah they they had all the all the facilities were there were there for us we had you know shade over us in those hot days in the in the warm up arena and uh, yeah the scheduling was uh, was really tight but you know it, the show ran smoothly nonetheless um, I 
If I if I make uh, one suggestion, I, I would I would uh, cut some classes or add a day because we, we needed a little more time in the, in the night to to prepare our horses. So yeah, that's just nitpicking a little bit. But the show, overall show was was uh, I think a real success. Yeah.